Jacob. Good morning. It's been a while. It's been almost a year. You must feel important being in Oxford, uh, surname being Lord. Oh yeah. Do I, do I call your highness or I don't know. Well, uh, if you insist. A year ago, it must have been about a year ago, yeah. where I, uh, I had to play with uh, Construct uh, Excel. I believe it was the Excel that you brought over in Malta. And this looks a bit different. Yeah. So well, start explaining, what is this? Because there is a lot going on here. So take us through it. Okay, so you've played with one of the printers already. Yes. That's the product. The question is, how do you get to the product? A festival of RepRap is more about the concept of printing and what got us here. Okay. So I wanted to show off the machine that we tested everything on before we got to product stage. Oh, wow. So the, like you've probably seen like the question of, why did we go with wheels instead of rails all right. and all of that? Okay. It was tested on this machine. All right, so this existed before the, 50, 50. the XL. It's been destroyed and rebuilt so many times as we tested parts. See, breaks and makes, See, breaks and makes. Anyway, sorry. Uh, it's like we even found out how long an aluminum rail can last with rebuilding. Oh, wow. It's about okay. four times so, before the rails get too permanently damaged. Wait, so you're telling me that this is not a product that you might it is at not some a product. point? You... It might be. If everyone's been somehow more focused on this than I, the things I, we sell. I'll, I'll be honest, because this catches your attention. Yeah. What's happening down here, oh. that's, that's something we have to delve into. But oh, yeah. let's start. So what, what specs is this running? Because the back of this machine is Inside. quite insane. Okay. So this was originally due at two. Okay. Got upgraded to do it three as we started researching upcoming things that may, may not, may never be. Okay. Um, but we needed more hardware. So on the back of this is a Duet 3 6HC. On the corners of each motor is a redundant 1HCL expansion board. If we're swapping a motor out, say with like a closed loop motor, that's when those get plugs in. Or if we're doing the upcoming eight motor test where every idle bearing oh, wow. is now driven, that's when these kick in. So we're got enough stuff for drivers to run everything we're, we're needing okay. to do. Yeah, this is the test platform. So everything from does four motor drive actually improve performance in our use case? Surprisingly, the answer was no. Okay. It, it only improved um, belt resonance harmonics, which meant nothing. Wow because the belts are already high enough quality, you don't get yeah. an issue. All right. um, same with the linear rails. We found linear rails wear down faster than V wheels and you have to replace them more often. Okay. And the problem is we print a lot of carbon fiber. Yeah, exactly. And carbon so fiber dust gets in the little yeah, bearings. Little so you get galvanic yeah. corrosion. Within about six to eight months, you need to replace a rail. What's going on here? Okay. This is a lot of wires and a lot of things. There's a lot of wires. So to start with, Ignore the EE box. Yeah. That's just because we needed internet to the This is not shop. sponsored by EE in any way. Please sponsor me. <laughs> okay. I want your money. Okay. <laughs> um, so 6HCL, that runs the majority of the printer. Okay. Um, the main benefit of that is the can because we wanted yeah. to attach things to it that we can just plug in. It works. Yeah. I don't need loads There's of loads of wires and all. Uh, power supplies are in these lovely gray boxes. Okay. Um, but going underneath is where it really starts getting okay. interesting. That is a Mellow Fly Super 5. I can never get the name right. Um, and the intention for that is because it works over CAN, it can do RepRap firmware, and it can do Clicker at the same time. Oh, wow. So you can switch between them if you needed to. The benefit is if we can get what's underneath working on basically a Clipper motherboard, okay. it works on both like ecosystems. Wow. Because what I want is for the filament changer to be a universal thing, not locked to a single company, not locked to a single machine. I want it to be a bolt-on upgrade for any other printer. Okay, now, now since you mentioned it, let's talk about this filament changer. So yeah, so hot swappable bays. Oh, you know what? We should we should just you know let's just there we go. Okay. Hot swappable bays. Okay. I have had to repair my AMS about three times just because I'm using really cheap filament. Okay. And as you probably know, it's a pain because it's. The way they've manufactured it is very effective for not needing to repair it. Yeah. So when it goes wrong, it's a pain. Yeah. This is my solution to that to start with because I don't like pain. I like being lazy. And if I can undo the entire thing with two bolts and not have to worry about anything because I just brute force everything, yeah. this is how I start it. So individual bays, hot swappable, 
magnetize, hopefully with pogo pins in the future so it can actually fully come out. Did you just take that out while the, the filament was being used? Yes, but that's because they're not hot swappable yet. All right, okay. They only go okay. in and out that much. All because right, all the okay. wires, I just wide them in. Okay, okay, fair enough. But fair it enough. will be. So what the pogo pins will mean you can just whip it out. Oh, wow. Um, the stepper drivers, they, they say don't unplug. A lot of them have protections just in case that happens, yeah. so you can. Don't do it, still don't do that. It'll break stuff, maybe. The other thing, so whenever you're doing any filament, especially like the more brittle ones, you don't want it to quickly turn. Yeah. So that's why you get the height. And then the second thing was, well, we've got the height, what can I fit inside to actually make the experience better? Filament dryer. So each one is an individual filament dryer. I don't have the lids, because I haven't made them yet, but it means you can individually control the temperature of each one, depending on the material and they go up to three and a half kilos at the moment. And then the last thing is obviously when you pull the filament out, okay. if you're using like the Prusa style MMU yeah. or uh, the ERCF, which I can never remember what the acronym okay. stands for, the other one, yeah. um, they all have to use filament buffers because yeah. they don't have a rewinding function. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. there's a motor on the back wheel. Um, it's using a, a Sprag bearing, which I found out about thanks to Maker's Views. Okay. It's like one-way bearings exist. Yeah, like, exactly. Let's look into that. So there's one way bearing on the back wheel. Um, when it needs to reverse, it turns the motor on and it binds up that bearing and it just oh, keeps wow. it punched. Okay. So okay. it's hopefully a universal, completely yeah. automated material changer that should work with any clipper or rep wrap printer. That is absolutely brilliant. I, and and just, just for the folks at home here, um, when? <laughs> no. That's the, no. the short answer. No, is no, no. plans. It will be ready when it's ready. All right. Okay. So Fair enough. That's probably a good stuff thing. Like this, when it's research, um, the research can lead into weird paths. Yeah. Um, at the moment, it's looking very promising. Yeah. But there's one challenge, which is extraction of film. So I don't want to use a blade in the nozzle yeah. like bamboo does. Yeah. And that's because not every printer has that functionality of quite easily just cut blade. You got a perfect tip. Extract. Exactly. So we're working very hard on getting the extraction right. Okay. Because once you do that, and if you can generalize it, any printer can have yeah, it. Exactly. You don't need a special hot thumbs. Yeah. And here's the other cool thing. So we've, I know I'm going to say a word you don't like. We've got a patent pending on it. Oh, okay. but it's pending. But, but we're also open sourcing. We've talked to about- This is IP. actually, okay. So this, this goes into a different conversation, which I think is very important at the moment. Because open source and patents are complete opposites to yeah, each other. Yeah, exactly. But I think this is something that the community probably really has to start thinking about. It's protecting the open source. Yeah. Up top, there's a QR code that links you to the step files okay. for the entire bay at the moment. As we make the firmware and everything, and we're finalizing that, that will be uploaded as well. Oh, wow. And it's basically using Creative Commons licensing. Nice. So as long as you don't use it commercially, which is only to protect us from, yeah. we need to earn something on it. Yeah. But if you want to make one for yourself, there's no reason exactly. why not. Because 99% of the time, and a person makes one for themselves, yeah. they're not going to buy one anyway. Exactly. So exactly. I get to give back to the community what to me is probably the most interesting thing here. Oh, absolutely. And also protects my company from being just cloned immediately before we can even get to market. Agreed, agreed. And I mean, at the end of the day, if a company wants to produce this and sell, then they can just, they just reach out to, to you. Like, we're not going to be like, exactly. give us no, 20 million it. quid and you can only make one. Exactly. Like, no. yeah. I just want people to enjoy it. Yeah. And this is how I can I, I think that's, that's a very good way to, um, to take this community forward, to be completely honest. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, that was a lot. I, I really enjoy that. I'm really looking forward to what comes out next. I'm really looking forward to printing me one of those, what do we call it, BMS? I don't know. Uh, I don't, that's your multi material system. <laughs> not finalizing it. I kind of liked the idea of, we've been calling it a filament changer in turn. Okay. And we're from the UK. No, don't. The, I know where you're going with this. The, I know where you're going with this. This is going to be another no, Hermes debacle. Hermes. No, no, no. Let's, let's just, okay, we'll stop there. If, if you know, you know. <laughs> that's it. All right, well, Jacob, thank you very much. Thank Mr. Lord, thank you very much for hosting us. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be looking forward to what you come up with next. Thank you very much. Awesome. Uh...